What's up YouTube? My name is Kenneth. Today we're going to talk about the gear barrels from Efforts. So here's the gear barrel. It is a uh, shape mod of the gear cube by Oscar Van Daventer and it's really a follow-up to Mefford's very successful gear ball um, and you probably have seen this puzzle around. It's out in stores uh, and it seems like it's been a very successful puzzle and so they've followed it up with the gear barrel and it's another shape mod of the gear cube and there's probably 15 shape mods of the gear cube uh, but this one is kind of more in the high quality version like the gear ball where it has these uh, kind of tiles that plug in um, and the tiles are very nice I think it's very it's a very attractive uh, puzzle because of the tiles um, so I was really excited to, to uh, get to play with this puzzle um, the turning is definitely not nearly as good as the gear ball was the gear ball just like turns perfectly it's one of the best turning puzzles I've ever played with uh, and the gear barrels uh, they definitely don't turn quite as good especially uh, kind of on this equator axis where this turn here it locks up and it, it, you have to like get it lined up right before you can turn it uh, and so it's too bad that that doesn't turn uh, nearly as good as the gear ball but um, besides that it turns okay so one thing I was a little disappointed with the gear barrel was they had an opportunity to kind of play with the stickers uh, but instead they kind of just pretended it was a cube and stickered it like the cube a cube would be so uh, this would be a corner piece and they used three colors here and uh, this would be an edge piece and it was just two colors but with the barrel I feel like they had the opportunity to kind of play with the colors and you know they could have done maybe like a triangle or something interesting with the colors but instead it's just kind of uh, in, in my opinion a little boring so what I did was with this one I took some of the tiles out and replaced them and I kind of changed the the orientation slightly so like this was the red side and so you can see this used to be red right here but I pulled the red ones out and I put them on this side so now we have a corner with just green and red instead of three colors it's really two and same with like this edge it's just got one color it's just all red and so it actually changes the way it solves a little bit uh, it makes it slightly harder to solve and you know I think that's a little bit more fun and I think they had an opportunity to do something kind of interesting uh, with the kind of stickers here and they and they kind of went the safe route uh, doing it this way but uh, I think this is a lot of fun that uh, you know at least they are tiles and you can pop them out if you want and change it uh, just be careful if you're gonna pull these tiles out I kind of hurt my fingernails trying to dig them in and pull them out and uh, it, it was kind of painful and it took a long time so be careful doing it but if you do uh, it's kind of fun it changes the way it solves so anyway, I'm going to scramble this up and we'll solve it. So one thing I was scrambling and one thing I forgot to mention is that the puzzle pops every once in a while. It just popped funny. And so now it's in this weird kind of state where it's off axis and stuck. And I have to like pop edges and try to get them, uh, get it back into a, a way a position it can move. So now it's back into a spot it can move. So that was one problem with this puzzle is that it actually pops the edges can kind of skip and it can get into a lot of unsolvable positions so if yours is unsolvable because one edge is twisted or something like that uh, just pop it back that's the way to fix that problem okay scrambled enough ready set go kind of fun there's a little bit of a parody here that you wouldn't normally have but the sticker mod changed it and gave me a little bit of a parody but it's very easy to solve and oh unsolvable so this is what I said when pieces kind of pop out you can get into this unsolvable state uh, and so you have to just push them into the right place uh, and so you got to be careful because uh, you know these edges can kind of pop so anyway that's a solve on the uh, gear barrel uh, and you can see kind of the complaint with the the popping it actually 
you know, popped in this solve and made it unsolvable. So, uh, but yeah, that's the gear barrel. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on the gear barrel. Definitely uh, make sure you follow this channel if you don't already. Um, I come out with videos at least every other weekend. And uh, oh, I want to say also thanks. I was recently uh, vacationing in Norway and I had a kind of a quick uh, Cuber meetup for an hour in Oslo and I met uh, five awesome Cubers <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun um, especially I got to hang out with Morton the fastest Cuber in Norway and so we had a lot of fun just chatting about cubes we did a few races and took a couple pictures so definitely follow me on Facebook and Instagram uh, and that's kind of where I, I post about that kind of stuff so definitely check me out there thanks guys for watching and of course have a great day